With forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and 3 gigs of data for just $44.99, or with 5 gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. About a month out from the presidential election, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell paid his 30th visit to Pikeville to speak to the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. And heavy in the discussion at Tuesday's event was the election. McConnell, of course, favored Republican candidate Donald Trump in his remarks, but he also acknowledged that the election is far from decided. We have long odds because we have a lot of exposure. So I think it's a 50-50 proposition. And... Um, we're hoping for the best. But McConnell's most extensive remarks, of course, revolved around coal and the Obama administration's perceived war on coal. They cut coal jobs across the state while raising electricity rates by double digits. And the most frustrating thing about it, all of it having zero impact on global emissions. You know, I don't have to remind you that we've sort of fallen out of favor with the sort of left-wing elites in the country. Uh, but I tell you, I'm proud to represent this state. And at least as far as our votes are concerned, I think we're likely to send them a very strong message next month. McConnell joined the two topics by saying he is confident in Donald Trump's support of coal, and he said coal has a future. Mr. Trump has made it very clear he's uh, pro-coal. And if he were to be elected, I think we would be in better shape unless Hillary Clinton has a different point of view after the election from what she expressed before the election. Coal has a future. The question is whether coal has a future in this country. Uh, the Germans are now importing coal. Uh, the Chinese are still building coal plants. Coal has a future. The issue is does coal have a future in this country? McConnell filled out his remarks by detailing actions he's taken in Washington to make eastern Kentucky's voice heard. During his time in Pike County, he also visited Coal Run Village for an event, but media was not allowed to attend. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.